We start after 82 years goes by, a DNA analysis has connected one World War II veteran who died in captivity back to his family in Florence. Cario 13's Carla Sosa joins us live in our newsroom after talking with the family on how it feels to be able to properly bury their beloved uncle. Carla? The family of U.S. Army technician 5th grade Clifford Strickland have waited over eight decades to finally find out how their uncle died after fighting in World War II. Now they have their answer and are thrilled to finally bring him home to be honored. Clifford Strickland was just 23 years old when he enlisted in the Army during World War II. He knew he needed to do service. His comments would be, well, if I don't, then who does? After joining the military, he was deployed to the Philippines. During his time there, Japanese forces invaded the island, turning Strickland and thousands more into prisoners of war. Unfortunately, in July 1942, at the age of 25, he died in captivity in the Philippines. It's very traumatic for the family, especially my grandparents and um, his siblings. Strickland's family says they never knew if they'd ever be able to properly honor him for the sacrifice he made. Personally, and I think most of my family had kind of really given up that he would ever be identified and would forever remain one of those missing in action uh, soldiers, fallen heroes that we would never find. Which was why they were shocked last December when the Department of Defense told them their uncle's remains had been positively identified overseas. Comparing it with DNA of samples from three of my cousins, and um, they were able to, to make a confirmed match with my uncle's remains. Now, Strickland's body will be flown from Hawaii out to Colorado. His great-nephew, Daniel Strickland, who currently serves in the U.S. Air National Guard, will then bring him back home where he belongs. Put to rest and have closure for our hero, my Uncle Clifford, who died for this country. On June 29th, Strickland will be laid to rest near his parents at Union Highland Cemetery in Florence. Reporting live in the newsroom, Carla Sosa, KRDO 13. Some great news for that family. Thank you for sharing that with us, Carla.